joining Paul O'Grady at five, Joanna Lumley and Danny Houston. After Deal or No Deal on four. Twenty-two boxes. A quarter of a million pounds. Just one question. And we have arrived at the one thousandth deal or no deal. The former occupants of this crazy gold chair. <laughs> We've arrived at the 1,000th deal or no deal. And I can promise you this is going to be a sensational game. How can I say that with confidence? Because the banker assures me he has something very special. And now, let's select the person who has the honour of going straight into the Hall of Fame. The person who is our 1,000th player. Here are the names. One golden opportunity to change your life forever and a thousand reasons why you should savour every moment. Lisa. Lisa Marie McLean yeah. from Aberdeen in Scotland, a catering manager, better known as Loopy Lisa. Also, it says down here that you organised a surprise 40th birthday party for your mum, mm -hmm. but then went and told her. I did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello. Hello. Isn't it exciting? Yes. <laughs> and doesn't Very your daughter look beautiful. delicious? <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. How are you feeling? I feel really good, actually. I feel really, really honoured and privileged to be sat here full stop. But on the thousandth show, oh my goodness, it's amazing. For a thousand times, I've said to the player, it's your game, it's your show, do what you want. Deal? Absolutely. OK. I need you, please, to confirm you chose box 19 at random before the game began. I did indeed, yep. Sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 of our boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. Lisa, have a wonderful game. I will, thank Do you. Do it for Lisa. Good luck. <laughs> for the 1,000th time to you too. Ah, oh, he's very proud to have such a wonderful array of ex-players here, and he says, because he's down the phone, could you give yourselves a cheer? <laughs> ah, the banker's got a surprise for you, Lise. We've been playing games without the £1,000 box. It's been substituted for a different value in the previous six games. OK, we're now revealing your board for this epic game, Lisa.
Lisa, he says he's done it in honour of the two ladies who have actually managed to win a quarter of a million pounds. They're with us, and here we have two boxes somewhere here containing a quarter of a million. I'm going to say it again. Oh, oh, Lisa, good luck, good luck. I'm going to go firstly with box number one, Graham. First of April, first box, box number oh, one. Wow. It's oh. got to be the penny. Oh, it has, isn't it? be next Rachel 21 good luck Lisa thank you <laughs> that's your ninth in a row Rach nine blues in a row to celebrate the fact there was nine blues in a row, we'll go number nine, Jason. In tribute of uh, the last daddy, Steve, and your great friend, I'd like to do it in the style of Steve. Oh, thank you. I hope this is a blue, just for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's OK, it's OK, come on. All right. Number seven, please. Okay. <laughs> Come on, no sting in the tail. Okay, Joe, number eleven, please. Thank you, Joe. Very, very best of luck. Fifty thousand. You said no. It's fine. I've got two quarter of millions. It's fine. And of course, you're right. Hello. Yes, yes. Uh, a thousand shows. So at least six thousand times we've talked on the phone. Ah, this is the bit we can all savour. He has actually given away now over sixteen million pounds. Yeah. Yes, of course. And actually, there's over a million pounds of his money sitting here in this room. <laughs> Sorry, Nick, it, it must be very painful, all this. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, Lisa, beautiful Lisa, what's it going to be? Well, I've just said, he's already given away over 16 million pounds. You have a game with two quarter million pound boxes still in play. Your opening offer is 16,000 pounds. <laughs> Are you going to walk? No. <laughs> Ask me the question. 16,000 pounds, deal or no deal? Thank you very much. £16,000. Oh, no deal. Thank you. you beautiful Jordy Leslie. Can, number 10, can you give me a moment? Please. So hope so, Lisa. You're going to be such a mess. And don't stop ever being crazy. <laughs> it's OK. It's OK. Oh, Dave, number 14. Go on, Dave. 
loads of blues. Good luck, I've been keeping going for you. Now, I can think of dozens of reasons why you should come back, but there are actually two compelling reasons, and they're still in the game. You ain't going to miss this one. See you. stripped out the £1,000 box and he has put a second quarter million pound box into play and so far thankfully we haven't discovered either of them. Where do you want to go? Natalie 20. Nat can you uh, just get us to the next call intact and it will make the banker so uncomfortable. It's going to be too quiet without you. <laughs> Good luck. 20,000. Okay. She says it's okay. <laughs> okay. Well, it's getting scary already. You're not going home with 20,000. Hello? No, she hasn't found either. He's encouraging you to look at the 1P winners and whatever and uh, think about that. You can't join their club, obviously. But he wants you to establish a club of your own and be the first player ever to leave at the second offer. And you would be leaving with the same sum of money you just discovered, £20,000. <laughs> Standing over there, watching everyone else's second offers, I've never really felt that anybody needs advice. I know in my heart what I want to do right now. Mr. Edmonds, I'm ready for the question. All right, Miss McLean. £20,000. Deal or no deal? Oh, my goodness, no deal. Thank It's really difficult to pick numbers. Go with your instinct. My instinct isn't saying much, <laughs> to be honest. But you are, so I'll pick you. Michelle, number five, please. <laughs> so Michelle is talking to you rather than the box. Okay, Michelle, thank you. It's <laughs> good. good. Very, very good. Okay, Margaret number 13. I hope this is a blue. Oh. Oh. The goal, the extra quarter of a million <laughs> has still gone. Have another one. <laughs> but there is still another one. I don't suppose any ex contestants happen to be psychic or anything, no. <laughs> <laughs> Concentrate. Don't hesitate. That's it. Go. Go. Okay, 16 grey. You're a shining star. God knows what the place will be like without you. <laughs> Good luck. Good news, it's still there. Bad news for you. Thank you. He's reminding himself 
you may have lost the extra quarter of a million, call it that, mm -hmm. but in conventional play terms, you've only lost one of the power five. And he's got to bear that in mind. So your offer now is 17 and a half thousand. Ooh. What's 19? It's a 17 and a half thousand. What are you thinking? Wow. I'd be. I'd like to um, get enough money together to buy a Ford Capri. I really like them, but I can't drive. I've been learning for two and a half years, solid, and I can't turn right or <laughs> reverse or go round to roundabout or I can't do hill start. I can't change gear very well, but I manage. I don't stall very often, though. That's quite good, and I'm really good in second gear. <laughs> It's cost me a fortune learning to drive, and I'm just no further forward, so I'd like to do an intensive course. <sighs> Jason! Talk to me. We'd all love that board. Four to power five, six blues to hit. Yeah, exactly. Stop teasing him. Just yeah. Stop teasing him. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Edmonds, please ask me the questions. It's my pleasure. Seventeen and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. did you win, Ori? A pound. Oh. Oh. Has it changed your life? Well, I stuck my hand up a turkey's bum and won a grand, so it was all right. Yeah, you did, <laughs> didn't you? Yeah, you did. Actually. Clive, how's the farm? Proper. Proper, isn't it? No problems, though. We don't have problems. No. No. Never had a problem in life. Just every day. Yeah. <laughs> Just every day. What do you think of the game? She's in a good position. Far better than I was. Yeah. How much did you win? Oh, not very much. Nine and a half thousand. Nine and a half thousand, that's a lot. I'm, I'm disappointed that it didn't change your life. Oh, I met Ori. I'm all right now. Yeah, yeah I met Ori. <laughs> We're together now, me and Ori. I told, I told you last time, don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> and on that note, I guarantee you'll be back. to see the way this one works out. This is Lisa McLean playing our 1,000th show. It's feeling good, isn't it? One to go to eight box, make it a blue, and you are looking solid. Thou, number 12, please do not wipe this smile off my face. Good luck. <laughs> oh. 35,000 oh, okay, strong, but... It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Hello! <laughs> you know things about Lisa. You 
were listening to her in the pub one night. When it was her game, she said, he overheard you in the pub saying, when it came to your game, you didn't think you could turn down a certain amount of money. And he's now offering you that amount of money. £25,000. £25,000. Oh, you've gone quiet now. This is a different Lisa. Ooh, we're, we've arrived at the business end of the game. Do you know something? Every beat of my body, every thing racing through me just now is saying to me, come on, Lisa, listen to what Noel's saying. 25 grand. I can't, I can't hear for seeing. You know, I just can't see past that board. But 25 grand would make a massive difference to my life. Those are only numbers, love. They aren't only numbers. <laughs> They're dreams. They're dreams as well, yes. I've never felt lucky before. I never knew what it felt like to feel lucky until they shouted my name out today. And I was like, oh my goodness. I made it through auditions and telephone calls and through hundreds of thousands of people and then on to the show and then on to the thousandth show. I mean, how much luckier do you get? Mum, please forgive me. Mr Edmonds asked me the question. £25,000. Deal or no deal? Oh, wonderful offer. Woo! But no deal. Right. If this works out the way, obviously, we all want it to work out, you are going to get a monumental offer, if only because your courage cannot be denied my sister is one of the most special things in my life and her birthday is on the 6 and if ever I needed her it was right now so can you open number 6 for me Tony we don't want you to be loopy Lisa we want you to be lucky Lisa oh it's okay, it's okay. Oh. I'm so confused. The numbers are confusing me. Eight has had quarter million in it. Twenty-two is the death box. Number two, the most frequently in there. Number four, my birthday. And I'm like, woo! <laughs> Woody, number eight. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to regret this. Yeah. Is it definitely Woody? Uh, I don't like being given an option. <laughs> okay, okay. You chose it. Number eight, Woody. Okay, Woody, please open box number eight. All the best. Oh. Even Stevens, though, eh? If I could keep those big ones in my lord. If you find another blue, you are buzzing. Number four, Jean. Ah, I can't look. Thank you, Jean. Open the box. Turn that down. He says requires real courage, and you've put him in a shocking position. Oh, I feel sick. Last 
time you were offered 25,000. And he thinks you should have taken it. Only you can say whether your head at the moment is full of regret. Because your offer now for box 19, 30,000 pounds. <laughs> £30,000. £30,000 is just a crazy amount of money for anybody who really is. Like, you know, and I think we all can appreciate how much £30,000 is, but I have to be honest with you, when I came here, I didn't, I didn't come here thinking I want money, bizarrely enough. I'm, I just want the bus, <laughs> which reminds me so much of Alice's game. And I just feel so, I've, ne I've never felt this lucky. Never. I've never felt this. £30,000 is a lot of money. I was brave to turn down 25000 The chances are I am probably going to cry if I take all the rest. But hey, guess what? If I don't, I'm going to cry anyway. So it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> you know. Are you ready? Ask me the question, Mr. Edmonds. Ooh, yeah. Lisa, thirty thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Oh, <laughs> no deal. Ah! Is it conceivable that on the 1,000th deal or no deal, we actually have the dream ending, the 100,000 and the quarter million still in play? First box. I can't think. I just can't think. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm going to go with you, Damon. 15. I'm not even going to call it. She's just choosing three boxes. And hopefully... They are the right three. Damon, please open box 50. Lacey, you're a lovely girl. Best of luck. Thank you. Oh, God. going to have on our thousandth show the quarter million in at the end two or 22 left or right which way do you want to go I can't believe that left or right can change your life it's like what <laughs> two has had the quarter of a million more times than any other box 22 has been called the death box because it's killed so many games Oh, I sick. I can't even speak. Number, number, oh, number two, Trudy. Oh, ah, what am I doing? What am I doing? It would be sensational to have oh, the quarter of a million still in play at the final chapter of our 1,000th game. Trudy. Would you put your left arm on that box and would you please, first of all, remove the seal? And Trudy, we 
Could you please reveal a blue? amazing you've, you've just thrown the stat book out of the window you took box two that's had the quarter of a million more than any other and it didn't today thank goodness it didn't today hello oh i feel sick one thousandth time the banker has made the final call Obviously, oh dear. can't stop thinking about the fact that just a few feet behind you, our first quarter millionaire, Laura, is sitting. And he got it wrong. He offered her 45,000. But she confessed afterwards if he had offered just a little more, she would have gone. You're getting the little more. No way. 50,000 pounds. swap with a quarter of a million and I think it's over there I know I'm an idiot I, d I just don't know what to do 50,000 pounds <laughs> I could have a wicked holiday with that 100 pounds I could put on the coupons mum can you come down please Honestly, do what what you got to do. I, I can't. It's totally your decision. You know, our games are totally different from your game. You know, every game's different, so. Like, you, you have had the mass, most massive buzz ever. Yeah. How far do you take the buzz? Yeah. Do you want to take it at the last stage? Your buzz might be getting the 50 and then finding the hundreds in here. That might be... That's not my box. box. That's my box over there. Will has my box. This is the one time that box is going to pay out for me, eh? Because whenever you play the game... It makes me lose every time I open 22 it. is always bad for you. Always. And it has to be this time. But you time. believe on this occasion it's actually going to come good for you. Yeah, like if I'd opened it in that last round, I wouldn't be standing here being offered £50,000. No. Okay, okay, I'm ready for the question. Oh. Please. 50,000 pounds. Deal or no deal? sit in the chair and Lisa to make it official let's imagine you playing on swap or no swap swap you believe that despite the fact whenever you play the game 22 ruins your day on this occasion it actually has a quarter of a million pounds and had you said no deal I would now be carrying a quarter of a million pounds into your life. Yeah. Now, 
It would have been too much to believe, sure, that on our 1,000th show, we would have created our third quarter millionaire. That would have just been too fanciful for words. If you'd gone on, this is what you would have taken home to Aberdeen. You brought to the table a hundred quid. Thank you, Will. Here we go. What are you thinking? <laughs> I knew it had to pay out sometime. <laughs> oh, fifty thousand pounds. <laughs> A big thank you to you for giving us a sensational game. Lisa, £50,000. Oh, and there is one more, even bigger thank you. 1,000 shows. I couldn't have dreamt of that over three years ago. It's a thank you to you for making this show even more popular than when we started. And that is a broadcasting phenomenon. And it's because of you. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow for a thousand and one. Joining Paula Grady next, Joanna Lumley and Danny Houston.